We're going to demonstrate the PA server RAD server combined Docker image right now. So we're using the Windows terminal, the new Windows terminal from Microsoft, and we're going to SSH into our machine here using the root user. And then we're going to run sudo apt update, which is going to update our machine. And then we're going to run sudo apt install Docker, and that's going to install the Docker files that we need to run our Docker images and containers. And so you can see the RAD Studio IDE in the background, and we're going to deploy from that a little bit later in the video. So you can see that this is our host machine where we have our Docker images running, and you can't connect to the machine right now because there's nothing on port 80 from a web browser. So now we're going to run the docker pull command for the RAD Studio PA RAD Server IB image and pull that from Docker Hub. And I've already done it before, so here it is. So now we're going to run this image. And so this image, the PA RAD Server IB image, is an image that contains both PA Server, RAD Server, and Interbase. And we're going to run interbase only mode. So we're going to run this, this Docker image because we need something for the regular Docker image which doesn't contain interbase to connect to. So we're going to do docker run dash d which is in the in the background. And we're going to do config equals interbase and we're going to run on port 3050 and that's the interbase port. And then we're going to mount the two directories, the interbase directory and the EMS directory as persistent volumes. So we're going to run this command, and so now we have our interbase only Docker container image running in the background, and now we're going to pull the RAD Studio PA RAD Server image, the one I talked about, the PA RAD Server combined Docker image. And now we're going to run this image, and we're going to run this image in the foreground using the dash IT command, and then we're going to mount it, its persistent volumes as well. So the name there is EMS2, that's the name of the volume, and then there's the directory from inside the Docker container that we're going to mirror to the volume. We're also going to supply these, these arguments here. We're going to do DB port of 3050, which matches the 3050 we ran in our previous PA RAD server IB image. And then we're going to do the host IP address of the, this host machine here where the Docker image is running. And we're also going to open up port 80, we're going to open up port 64211, and we're also going to open up port 8082. And we're, we're running the, the Docker image RAD Studio PA dash RAD server. And so we ran an interactive mode. And so now you can see we have PA server running. And I turned it verbose mode on. And then you can see here, I'm going to demonstrate, you can see that RAD server is actually running on the machine now. And we, we ran the version command. And then we're also going to show you that the test endpoint, and you can see that the test endpoint does not currently exist in the RAD server image that we're running. So we're going to, we're going to fix that. We're going to go over here to the RAD Studio IDE, and we're going to change this option here for the package output directory to, to period backslash, and that's going to compile the package file into the same directory as our project. So we've compiled the project now and our package file is there. We're going to switch over here to RAD Studio Docker Deploy Project and then we're going to go here to Resources and add that file, we're going to add that file here to our project. So we're going to add this as a resource and then we're going to name the resource identifier module and so that tells it we're going to use that in the code to deploy that module file. So we're going to clean the project and then we're going to make sure everything is good after adding our, our package file. And now we're going to deploy this project directly to the PA server that we, saw, that we started up in the Docker image. And so this version of, of RAD server is connecting to the remote Docker image that we started at the very first using the PA RAD server IB image. So it's, it's uploading this image to the cloud server right now where our Docker images are running. And so after it uploads this, it modifies the EMS server INI file and it restarts Apache to load the module uh, in real time without restarting the Docker image. So you can see here, you can see the command line that it ran, you can see that it restarted Apache, and so now we're good to go. We're going we're gonna to bring up a web browser and we're going to test the SM point. And so there you can see it returns test. And you can see here is the endpoint of test and 
it returns test there in the code.